In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can use the Xbox app on your computer and your phone to turn on your Xbox console with an easy step-by-step -step guide on how to. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If any of you are new here, make sure you like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos like this. Remember to comment any questions or queries and I subscribe down in the comment section below because I'll be replying to all these comments. So make sure you don't hesitate to do that because I'm always happy to help you guys. So throw those comments at me. Now let's get into today video now for the first method guys I'm gonna be showing it through the computer as you can see my Xbox is currently off so what I'm gonna do to be able to turn it on is I'm gonna click on the little that icon right there as you can see click on it then you want to click on bedroom Xbox console whatever you've named your console as you can see it's loading up it's basically gonna stream my Xbox or essentially turn it on so it can stream it and as you can see right now it just turned on without me even touching a button or my controller button and as you can see the button is turned off as well as the controller button so that means I haven't turned it on through my Xbox console like by pressing the button or the controller button and basically yeah it's now on streaming as well through my computer as well didn't even have to touch a button so as you can see, I'll press the button to turn it on. Now it's currently on. And even when you press the off button directly on the console, since I've turned it off, like on through my computer, it will not turn off unless you basically hold the home button on your Xbox controller and press turn off console. It, not until only then it will turn off or until you stop streaming. So I reckon that's pretty cool. I'll just quickly show you what happens if I go turn off console. There you go, as you can see, it's turned it off completely and this will stop the stream as well. As you can see, it's a bit frozen at the moment and there you have it, it's just turned off. And now I will show you what happens if you turn it on through the Xbox app through your phone. Now, as you can see, guys, I'm on my phone on the Xbox app and in order to activate and turn on your Xbox through your Xbox app on your phone, you want to click on the little console icon at the very top right there. And as you can see, you just want to click on open up remote, which will basically essentially open up like an Xbox controller. At the very bottom, we'll be able to like have like a little button down the bottom in a moment that will say turn on console since it's currently off. Or you can just press the three little dots. And as you can see, since I recently had my Xbox on, it hasn't updated. But there you go, guys. You just want to click on that little button at the very bottom. And that will essentially turn your Xbox console on. And since I didn't have another phone or a camera to film with, I will just quickly switch over to filming on what currently just happened straight after as soon as I press that button on my phone. Now, as you can see, guys, my Xbox has been turned on through the Xbox app on my phone, basically, by essentially activating the controller. But... Yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on so you never miss any of my videos like this. And I'll catch you all in the next video.